Hey everyone, it's Melissa. Today's video is this hair look. It's very, very simple to do. But uh, the video that I did of my favorites, someone requested it, so I thought, oh, I, you know, that would be fun to do. Uh, so I did it. Like I said, it was really, really simple to do. When I did it on my favorites video, I had done it second day hair. And I, my hair does better when I shampoo it in the mornings because it's just fresh and it holds curl better. But I had done it on second day hair, so what I did to, did to try to recreate it was I shampooed my hair the night before, and then I slept with it, kind of pulled back, and then when I got up this morning, I put it up on top of my head and sprayed the sides to kind of give it some height. So um, that's what I did to kind of prep it and try to make it look like it did before. So I filmed it and I was very chatty through it. I got to talking about grandparents and hair and height, you know, who was tall and who was short, you know, and in, everything in between. So I do, I do talk a lot in it, but uh, I do hope you enjoyed it. Let me show you what I used. I used this great big uh, two inch curling iron. This one is from Hot Tools and it's, gosh, I got it the year I started doing YouTube, which was 2013. So I'm coming up on nine years and you'd think I'd be better at it than what I am, but Oh well, uh, I noticed it doesn't get quite as hot, but it still works. It's got some baked in areas on it, you know, from product and stuff. I used a, uh, about a two inch, I guess, Velcro roller, just your favorite kind, uh, just duck bill clips. I worked, used the Fashion Work 12 hairspray by Redken over some of it. And then to spray my sides up, I used the Kenra 25. And I guess that was it. Um, Oh, just my big clip right here, and then I used one just like a little tiny clip to hold it back. And that was it. It's a very simple hairstyle. Now, uh, I did wear this, like about 69, 70, rounding through there, and I found a picture, so I'm going to post it. I just took a picture of a picture, and it's a very, very old one, so I tried to clear it up as much as I could. I'm standing in the gym talking to someone with a child, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember uh, who the child was or anything, but I do remember who I was talking to that day. Uh, so I did definitely wear this hairstyle, so I will show you that picture. Uh, that picture was taken, I think, either 69 or 70. Uh, I, I can't remember which, but uh, yeah, I definitely wore that hairstyle back then. So it was one late 60s, early 70s that we wore. So I do hope you enjoy it, and I appreciate it. So what I did was, it was second day hair. So I have shampooed my hair last night to try to get so it's not quite so fresh and fly away, but it still pretty much is. But anyway, I'll work with it. So what I had done was that morning, I had put my hair up in one of these little clips. I'll sleep like this frequently. I'll just take the top and then kind of twist it and kind of push it forward. And then take one of these little clips and clip it right there. So then I was going to go someplace and I wanted to, I think like to the grocery, so I wanted it kind of tidy and so I did it up. And the fact that I did the sides up, that gave it the, the sides some height later on. So I did ended up doing it all up. And then, you know, twisting it and twisting it up to the top of my head. Just a rough, rough twist. It didn't matter because nobody's going to really be seeing it if you do this at home. Just like that. And then I sprayed the sides. Like that, like that. And then I did my errand. Uh, and then I came back and rolled it. So it had time for the sides, since I was kind of getting my sides up off my face, it had time to kind of set the sides a little bit, and that gave it some, some body later on when I went to roll it. So I'm going to go do some chores, and then I will be back to show you what I did then. Okay, now, I'm going to take it down. 
but I'm gonna leave this part up because that's what I did that day. I just left this up and I rolled the little ponytail. So I'll do that first. Let me kind of break up the sides just a little bit, but I want to keep some of that that spray in there. Whenever I do my hair up, and I wear it up a lot, and then I'll do a little puff up here, you know, <laughs> kind of a ad fab Patsy Stone type hairdo. Uh, my hair always looks real full when I take it down. I thought about slipping that way, but I couldn't be able to slip with that big clip there. I guess I could put bobby pins there. I might try that. But this is what I did was just get the ponytail. Let me make sure I've got most of the ponytail. And then I rolled the ponytail and put a Velcro. Here's my clips. Here's my Velcros, and here's my big curling iron. Carefully put that in too with it. So then I started, I said, did I do the back next? Yeah, I think I did the back next. I did the, the cr crown right here. This doesn't want to stay in. Let me put another pin in it. Okay, then I did, okay, I think I did, yeah, I did the sides next. So I took this top part and I went down. I did up and down. And it's real, you know, it's kind of stiff through here because I use the Kenra hairspray. I use the strong hairspray to spray up the sides so that it wouldn't fall down. So, um, I have been using these macadamia uh, oil combs. And supposedly they have the macadamia oil in them. And I don't know if that's true or not, but I do like them. I don't know how they would put that macadamia oil in a comb. But evidently, they, they are claiming that they do. I don't dislike it. I, I ordered it, and I like it pretty well. So I did this one right here. You know, I hold it up high and do it down that way to give that body. And then just work the short pieces in with it too. I've got a lot of short pieces with my hair with different times that it's gotten thin and started growing back out and gotten thin and growing back out. So then I'll do the other side. Okay, then I did the one next to it on the top way up. This is sort of going toward the crown a little bit. This little thing didn't want to stay up right here. I tried it one time just not doing this and just rolling it back and everything. It didn't turn out as good. Okay, then I did the back. My arms are getting tired because <laughs> I'm at a funny angle to try to say. I used to do it in my, uh, I used to do it downstairs in front of, with that little mirror that I have. But for y'all to be able to see, I have to get down kind of low. It's making my arms kind of burn a little bit. That's good for the sagginess. Lord, things sag when you get older. 
It's amazing. Wake up one morning and you think, what happened to that? To that fill in the blank. <laughs> Whatever it is. <laughs> remember my grandmother telling me about because I have thin hair and you know shedding hair a lot and my grandmother was talking about and then I'm gonna do these sides over here next and my grandmother was talking about um, you know her hair shedding or having such thin hair and she was like I have bald spots and stuff I remember a little girl you know hearing her talk about that <laughs> I realized last night she was the age that I, I am at that age now. She was the age that I am now, <laughs> or maybe not even as old. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I thought, ooh, she's so old. Well, I guess she was. My mom had really, really thick hair. Even when she had cancer and was going through strong chemo, I guess about half her hair fell out, but she still had more hair than most people. I mean, like, she and her sisters would always have to go get their hair thinned. It was so thick. But I didn't get that. I guess I got my dad's side of the family because my, my dad's mother, my grandmother that I was talking about, she's the one that had the real thin hair. And my mother's family all had real thick hair. So, I didn't get that. My height I got from my mom's family. My uncle's, my mother's brothers uh, were like 6'5", and her sisters were like 5'10", at least. So I got my height from her side of the family. My mother wasn't as tall as the other, her other siblings. There were eight of them. All of them were taller than she was. Um, but um, my father's family was real short. My brother and I, because my brother's real tall, we would go visit my father's family and we would just feel like giants because like my father came back up to my shoulders <laughs> he wasn't very tall at all and my mother wasn't either but we got a pipe from her family but all my cousins and stuff you know they, we were, i was always the tallest one my brother and i would we would actually have to stoop in their house because my grandparents were both the short and they their house was short <laughs> so we'd have to Stoop way down when we would. Uh, okay, let's see. I think I'll do this. Looks like I've taken more hair on this side. Let me. I may have to do an extra one. Let me do this over here. But uh, yeah, it was crazy how how tall we were compared to my dad's family. You know, just with this hair, just roll it down all over and fit in a roller where you can. That's kind of what I'm doing. This thing is about had it. I can tell it doesn't get as hot as it used to. Okay, looks like I have about two more rollers left. I actually went to bed. My, my ends are so frizzy because I went to bed with my hair wet and uncombed. I just washed it and sit there a minute, let kind of let it get where it wasn't so damp on my roots, didn't even comb it out. And so when I tried to comb it out this morning, it had so many tangles and so much frizz in it. My mother always told me, she, like I said, she had the thickest hair. She said, the reason I have thick hair is because I don't use conditioner. She said, and she bleached her hair every month. You know, she was a natural redhead, but she bleached it real blonde. And she did it herself and she never used any conditioner on it. She would just let it dry without combing it and then get the tangles out after it was dry. Now, my hair does. That's one thing. The tangles get out better when my hair is dry. I will have to say that because uh, the heat, when it's real wet, my hair is fragile and it won't, um, it gets all tangled or wraps around itself. But when it's dry, the tangles just fall out more. She never conditioned her hair. She said, your hair's thin enough, don't condition it, is what she always told me. But I don't know. I, got, I had to use a different kind of Velcro on this one, but it's fine. Okay. 
last one. I was trying to remember if I, well look at this, shoot fire. I'm just gonna, you know what, I'm just gonna kinda, it's, it's not gonna show. I'm just gonna kinda get some heat on it and wrap it around. Okay, so it's kind of a messy job, but I'm trying to remember if I sprayed it. I think I did spray it with my Redken. I about out of it. I might use up a couple of cans of this, the air control, which works the same way. It's a working hairspray. It's by Aveda. I might go to that and finish that up and then see which one I like the best, but I do like the Redken a lot. It was in my favorites for the year, I think. Okay. Don't think I did my bangs, I just did that. Okay, I'll let this cool down and set and then I'll be back. Okay, it's been sitting a while, let's give it a go. I hope it takes okay. My hair was kind of frizzy from not doing enough product last night. It's still a little frizzy on the ends, uh, but I think I can work with it. I just didn't put anything to comb it out or any anything last night. I just left it and it was knotted and frizzy for sure. I do kind of like this comb now. This macadamia, uh, uh, the macadamia oil comb. I really do. I like it a bit. Yeah, it got some curl to it. My hair does better when I shampoo it in the mornings, but I just don't always have time. If I've got to get to work early or, you know, appointment or something, because I'm not my best in the mornings. To be honest, with the Crohn's disease, I'm pretty sick every morning, so I have to take time. I try to get up early and I have to take time to sit there and kind of be sick. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but I do. And then kind of, you know, gather myself. It's, you know, it's a difficult disease for sure, but they've made strides with it. All right. Alrighty, let's see. Let's go back here. I think I got a sneeze. Yeah, it's fly. You know, I've got the heat on and it's cold outside and it's fly away. So if I tried to put this turtleneck on with the, you know, whatever blend it is in there, it kind of makes your hair frizzy anyway. If I put it on over there, it would just be going fly, not, just fly away like cotton candy. So put your turtleneck on first if you go for your 60s kind of look. That's kind of basically what I did. I, I tried to add a little bit of oomph up here. I think I sprayed it a little bit with some hairspray and lifted it up underneath here and held it. I think I did that to kind of give it some oomph up here too. trouble get with this smear sometimes my hair looks uneven you know make sure one side is puffy as the other let me do it right through here and just it just takes a little bit with this to just a real concentrated area and then kind of hold it up like that and it'll or you can do it with your comb too I've done it with you know taking the comb and like going like that and lifting up you can do that too okay kind of 
cover up any thin areas or <laughs> here with your with little side things but make sure this is kind of even and you can kind of spread this out a little bit I remember used to let me tease that a little bit I'll tease it with my little macadamia comb well that didn't help much let me spray it underneath here okay kind of I'm, I'll rough it up underneath there a little bit well shoot fire that didn't help either okay I remember doing that yeah I remember doing that do y'all remember doing that when you did your hair back you do it the little ponytail part you do I think I, I did mine in a rubber band and I would kind of spread this over like that. But that, let me go put my earrings in. When I was in the bathroom, I kind of smoothed it down here just a little bit because it was kind of going back a little bit more. So I did bring this down just a little bit because it, it just kind of looked a little bit better. So I just fiddle with it. But anyway, I got some big gold hoops and I was trying to remember if we wore big gold hoops back then. I wore them, I remember I had them in 1976 when I had my first child. And I think I'd had them for several years. I wore great big gold hoops and a couple of gold chains. And I just thought that was so pretty. I did like that look. The big gold hoops and the big gold chains. I'm, I just might start doing that again. But anyway, I can't remember if we wore them like in 70, 71 or not. But close enough. So I'm going to put them on. So this is the finished look, and um, I do like it. It reminds me of being young and being in high school and just that whole time period. So I really appreciate the person that asked me to do this. It was a lot of fun to do, and, um, you know, that's how I get some of my best ideas is, you know, suggestions because when you've done it for quite a bit, for a long time, you know, there's, you've run out of things to do, so you kind of had to start all over again. So that, that was very helpful. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. I sure do appreciate it. Everybody take care. Stay safe. Have a wonderful week or weekend. I'm not sure when this is coming up. And love you all. Bye-bye.